what's good everybody it's your boy o'shea duke jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk i'm gonna be honest guys i really didn't think too much about like politics or mayors or presidents of countries you know before i started on to youtube um i saw personal things that happened in the community but you know I didn't really give it much thought. It wasn't until I started doing this channel and you know living in Africa where I figured that wow, politicians use their position or authority to gain wealth for themselves. Now, obviously, you're gonna think I'm dumb because it does sound stupid, because everybody should know that. But until you really live in like you know certain countries or even in certain black communities where you can see how. Um, they can enrich themselves. The budgets they have for cars, the budgets they have for homes and, and, and food, it's astounding. It really is. I had no idea. And let me just tell you this. For a person to, you know, let's say start acting as if they're all that because they have access to government funds, I think it's lame as hell. If you're a person like me or how most of you guys are, where you had nothing, you worked your way, every month every day to get what you got and you got it because of what you've done and you got a little bit of swag on you because of what you've done i can respect it but what i can't respect is somebody who's used other folks money and i'm talking about taxpayers money to enrich themselves such that other people had to suffer because you had to get money i can't respect that i just can't respect it and this is what's going on with tiffany henry not only are you taking the money from the city, using the police detail where the police can be actually fighting crimes. Nope, they're too busy following you around because you're afraid because of all the thieving and stealing you've done. You have the unmitigated gall to compare yourself to people in our community, women in our community, great women at that. And I remember, if you guys remember, when some of these brothers on black YouTube tried to come after Harriet Tubman in 2017, I was on their ass. How dare you talk about somebody like Harriet Tubman or Rosa Parks? If you guys remember that, it was a big deal. But I want to play this clip. This is Black History Month. I want you to I want to play this clip so that we pretty much find out what's going on here, who she's going to compare herself to. And we'll be back. It's Black History Month. Of course, I'm the first African American female supervisor of Thorn Township. Of course, I am. Mm -hmm. It's Black History Month. Of course, I'm the youngest female mm -hmm. mayor. No, <laughs> of course, I am. It's Black History Month. Of course, I have an outdoor skate ring. Of course, I do. Mm -hmm. It's Black History Month. <laughs> of course, I'm going to give away a million dollars to help you pay your mortgage and your rent. Of course, I am. It's Black History Month. Of course, I'm gonna highlight female history makers like Madam C.J. Walker, Rosa Park, Harriet Tubman, and now Tiffany Henyard. It's Black History Month. Of course, I'm gonna provide my residents with mental health resources. Of course, I am. It's Black History Month. Of course, I have a food pantry full of food. And of course, I'm gonna make sure everyone in Thorne Township eats. It's Black History Month. As the first African-American female mayor of Dalton? Of course I'm misunderstood. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys hear that? I mean, do you hear that joke? Let me, let me just kind of first start off here. I want to start off by saying certain things. Tiffany Henyard indeed is the first female mayor of this town. That we cannot you know, take away from her. She is the first African-American mayor in that town. But to put yourself in the same category as Rosa Parks, as Harriet Tubman, as uh, Madame B Bethune Cookman, Madame C.J. Walker, Madame C.J. Walker, a woman who made her own money herself, not taking money from taxpayers, not disclosing records. This lady was self made how dare you even put yourself fix your mouth to even believe you could be in the same class all right it's like saying it's like saying you know jeff george as a quarterback had the same talent and winning ability as tom brady nobody would ever make that mistake 
Okay? Nobody would ever say Al Sharpton is on the same level as Malcolm X. Will we say that? It's almost like saying Blueface is as good as a rapper as Jay-Z. Nobody can ever say that and be serious. And no disrespect to Blueface. I like the brother. I think he's a funny guy. But we cannot make that mistake, can we? No. Why? Because it doesn't make any goddamn sense. That's why. Now, here you have a person that steals from the public that wants to talk about our black female leaders of the other day. And I, some sisters deserve some criticism, I know. But not the one she's talking about. No. Those ladies, listen, they, they put their lives on the line to help our group. How dare she say something like that? And you've made a mockery. And it is so interesting. Again, I keep telling you guys, when I look at this lady, and this is me not even coming out to the, you know, many of us as black men, we've kind of shied away from being so critical these days. But if I may, Tiffany Henyard, young woman, the people who you disrespect the most are black women themselves. I mean, it's pitiful. I, 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 I just, there's nobody you disrespect and talk down to, you know, less than black women. Imagine as a black man, I, I'm, I'm in power um, and you know, I have an office and I talk to sisters like that, by God. The way that she talks down to black women, it is amazing. The fact you can even even fix your mouth to even believe that what you're doing is anywhere correct. And again, you're gonna see, you see it with Monique Owens, you see it with Latoya Cantrell, all their smoke come from sisters and black men are sitting back like, well, hey, we tried to tell you guys, we tried to tell you. Then they wanna go around acting as if everything is okay. When in fact, there was a lady there in the city that wanted to, create something for single mothers in the city she shot it down you have women in that city in that town that are trying to help out the people there yet she is there destroying everything doing everything the wrong entire way i mean being disrespectful being rude to people doing whatever she can to be destructive even you know when people try to hold her accountable i've seen the attitude towards the women when they're trying to tell her what she's doing, what does she do? She tries to punish them. She tries to fire them. You know who's fired the most sisters she has? She fires women. Women who are doing their job. I mean, women who are doing their absolute job. Putting terror. Like you have migrants now in that city, in, in Dalton, that are now probably going to get some level of um, places to stay where you have ladies in, in Dalton that are homeless. This is the same lady that's saying... Put me in the same category as black people. She is such a chauvinist. She is such a person that is, I mean, talk about self-aggrandizing. Talk about wanting attention for doing for doing nothing. It's a joke. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy Shady Jackson. Back at it again with the episode of Subject Drunk. I'm out.